Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys today about injury, injury treatment, and coming back from an injury. As many of you know, I've had several injuries before I started lifting and since I've started lifting. And the first thing that I got to address is the mindset. Know that if you are going to be lifting heavy weights, chances are at some point, the longer you do it, chances are you're going to get hurt. And then when you have to look at it, are you willing to make the commitment that when you get hurt, you're going to come back working a little bit harder and a whole lot smarter? So the first thing you have to look at is what do I need to do to treat this injury that just happened right now? So is it swollen? Well, you're going to use some ice. Get that inflammation down. Is it something that you cannot stand the pain? Go ahead and take some painkillers. A very, very common treatment method is rice. Rest, that's something you should do for all injuries. You're going to stop using the muscle, the joint, your back, whatever got hurt, until you feel like you've recovered. That could take a week, two weeks, several months, sometimes even years. But you rest. Ice. Ice is something you use to treat the inflammation, and it has to be used with caution. I'll get into that a little bit more in a second. Compress. While it is in that initial injury stage, you want to keep it compressed, especially if you need to walk around and it's affecting that day-to-day -day job. Put some sort of brace, ace bandage on it, and then elevate. If you can lay down, make sure that it's elevated, getting blood to and from the heart. So that's your initial treatment. And heat is an option. Now, heat is not appropriate for every type of injury. You have to look. Do I use cold? Do I use heat? Heat is really good for treating reoccurring muscle injuries or things like tendonitis, getting it warmed up, makes it feel better. And then ice is used for inflammation. You do not want to continue to use the rice method for long periods of time. The reason being that, especially icing, is going to slow down the healing process. You're going to use it during that initial phase where you're hurt and it's ballooning up in inflammation, but then you have to wean yourself off of that and let it heal. It's the same thing with anti-inflammatories. They function a lot like ice. They take care of that inflammation, that swelling. They get it down. They make you more mobile. You can feel better. However, they slow the healing process down tremendously. I'm linking that below, a study on the effects of both the rice method and anti-inflammatories. So that's something to be aware of. You're going to use them as part of your recovery but at some point, you have to stop and let yourself heal all the way, especially before you go back into lifting heavy. You do not want to be popping those all year round. It's very, uh, very detrimental to recovery. Then you have the hot-cold alternating method. That's pretty good. And the theory behind that is the cold is going to slow down the inflammation. Inflammation itself will also slow down the healing process and then you heat it up to get blood to the area and then you cool it back down, you heat it back up and you end with cold typically. And what that's going to do is the blood coming into the area is going to bring nutrients, it's going to wash away some of the toxins and some of the bad things that's absorbed in that area and it's going to speed up the healing process. That's great. Now one method that you can use to great effect if you're able to with the injury is active recovery. If you can move the injury, not heavy, just moving it day in, day out, trying to get blood pumping into that area. That's something you can also do after a workout. Do some light sets with the same type of motion, trying to get blood pumped into the area. It'll help recovery. It can even help delay uh, any sort of DOMS in your training. If you can do any sort of massage, same principle there. You're getting blood to the area. You're getting the bad stuff out. You can buy a foam roller, do deep tissue massage, all of those things. So those are what you do to treat the injury. Now, what do you do if the injury is not something that's going away? It hurts really bad. Well, you need to line up your, a doctor. I prefer a sports doctor because they deal with athletes. And, and they can have seen these types of injuries and they know how to treat them. And then you have a chiropractor. Anything related to the back or the hips, 
and sometimes even the shoulders, I recommend you go to a chiropractor. They're cheaper than a doctor and they are experts in dealing with the spine. And if you hurt your back, you want an expert at dealing with your back, not a general healthcare doctor that's a family practice physician. He is going to give you pills. If you want pills, great. Go see the doctor because the chiropractor is not going to give you any. They're going to fix you and tell you what you need to do. And then sports massage therapist. Really, really good for doing deep tissue massages. That's going to speed up your healing. It will help you with any loss of range of motion, flexibility issues, make you feel better. So line those three up. Know when you need to go to each. And then if they give you a rehab plan or tell you don't do anything for this long, you want to follow that advice. Now some doctors, this is why I recommend a sports doctor, will tell you never lift again. Unless you really, really messed up something, that's terrible advice. So you want to make sure that you're actually going to see someone that deals with lifters. Now we've recovered, we've rested, we're ready to get back in the gym. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what caused your injury. Was it bad form? Did you screw up? Did you mess up? Did you lift with a rounded back? Did your technique suffer? What did you do to cause the injury in the first place? Figure that out. And now you have to deal with it. So when you're coming back, first thing you got to look at is that. And then the second thing is, what is my plan to deal with it? You need to have a plan in place. I prefer to come back with a linear progression plan. That's going to advance my lifting at a nice rate. I have a goal for sets and reps every time I'm in the gym, and I know what I'm going to do, and I'm constantly making progression. That said, you need to start light. So many people, when they find out they were lifting in bad form, they try and go back to what they were lifting at when they got hurt. That is a terrible idea. First of all, you need to retrain form at a lighter weight. You have built faulty motor recruitment patterns if you were lifting with bad form. That means every rep that you did reinforced that bad form. You need to go back and relearn it. So you start just like you were a novice. Record every single set. Have a spotter watch you, give you cues. If you are struggling maintaining a straight back in a deadlift or even a squat, do you need to adjust your stance width? Do you need to switch from sumo to conventional or vice versa? These are all things you need to assess as you're coming back in the training. And now's the time to do it because you made the commitment. I'm coming back hard. I'm coming back stronger. And I'm going to be smart about it. Then you need to commit every single day. You're going to be tempted to add more weight to push harder than your plan said. And you need to step back and say, no, I made a commitment. I'm going to be smart about this. I am sticking to my program and I will come back stronger and I'm willing to take the time required to do it right. That is huge. Make sure you do not rush coming back into the gym. That's all I've got. As I said, linking down below, I'm linking a mobility wad. That's stuff that you can do to get more mobile. It's going to help you coming back with flexibility issues, loss of range of motion. I'm linking the study on the effects of anti-inflammatories and even ice on healing. And when you should use heat and cold. If you have any other questions or you'd like to see a video about something else, please leave a comment in the description below. If you like the video, like the video. Let me know that you like this content and this format. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.